Hello there. Thanks for joining us. We've just arrived at Sykeside campsite in Cumbria, uh, just above the little village of Hartsop. And uh, I don't think there's probably that many campsites that come with a better view than this. It is absolutely stunning. So we're here for three nights and then we're going to Great Langdale. Uh, so uh, we'll bring you a few of the walks. We're not exactly sure what we're doing yet. And uh, but we'll also give you a little bit of a, a roundup tour of both places, a little bit of a look around the campsites and everything. But uh, yeah, up behind us we've got uh, High Heart Sop Dodd, and around to uh, Dove Crag and Heart Crag. Uh, yeah, Maria's trepidatious about the walking, aren't you? Because uh, there's no easy walking around here. <laughs> but. Uh, Weather conditions seem good, so we'll uh, we'll follow our noses and see where we get to. But for today, um, or this afternoon, we're just off uh, to wander down to uh, Brothers Water. Just have a look at that. Uh, so just a, a gentle stroll. And uh, the only downside is the uh, Sykeside pub is uh, closed due to COVID. But um, it might be back on Monday night or Tuesday night just before we leave, so we might get to sample it. But uh, we've got a few beers in the van, so uh, we'll be fine. We'll survive. rock to sit on by Brothers Water. Absolutely lovely. Bit of uh, road noise from the A592 which has probably got to be the uh, smallest windiest A road I've ever seen. But uh, yeah a lot of motorbikes and such like but I'm sure it'll quieten down later. Absolutely fantastic here. A couple of swans and a cormorant out on the uh, the lake. Beautiful. Just walking along the uh, banks of Brothers Water now and uh, a group of young people have just turned up and they've just uh, got their cozies on and just jumped in without a whimper. Two ladies. <laughs> well two of them, there's a big group of them but two of the ladies just dived in and uh, Hardly a whimper, I don't think. Very brave at the end of March. It must be absolutely freezing in there. Mm -hmm. weather, the weather out here is lovely, but uh, I won't fancy going in the water. Rather them than me. Hello again, well, just uh, 24 hours later and uh, no more no more sunshine and the weather's changed completely so uh, visibility's really poor up in the tops and I think it's uh, in for the more or less the day so we're just going for a low level walk, um, heading down the same way as we went yesterday afternoon, just past Brothers Water and uh, hopefully just down to Patterdale to have a look round. So I uh, won't do a separate walk video of this, just include it in a bit of a compilation of the trip. But uh, why not join us on a, a typical Cumbrian wet and dreary day. <laughs> and, uh, but she's still beautiful though. Eh? Well, it is still view beautiful, yeah, because you can see all the wisps of cloud up in the uh, mountains and then uh, right across some of the peaks you can't see uh, Heart Crag or Dove Crag. Uh, High Heart Sop Dodd you can still see, but Middle Dodd's, uh, e even that's covered in uh, 
mist, so yeah, a bit different. Lovely and uh, calm today, so you can see the reflections of the uh, the hills and all the bracken colours in the, the lake. Nobody's swimming today though. Just been uh, wandering down through some nice woodland and we're just following the uh, back down into Patterdale now. They've been doing some work to divert it onto its more natural course because it was kind of um, channeled and I think the way they're doing it now it creates a, a better floodplain so that the water just doesn't rip through when uh, you get serious floods which obviously in Cumbria they get a lot of especially these days but uh, yeah it's left it a little bit sort of uh, half finished in some areas but it'll soon recover I think the work's still going on at the moment. Just coming down to a little footbridge now which uh, takes us over and then we turn left for the last leg down into Patterdale. Well, uh, on a day like today when it's grey and low cloud and you perhaps don't want to venture up into the mountains too high it's true what they say still got some uh, great views from down here on the uh, lower levels in this part of the world it's just uh, every type of weather brings a you know, different set of views and even yesterday we were just watching the views changing during the, the day as the light changed. So you don't even have to move if you don't want to. <laughs> too far off Patterdale now. I think we've done about uh, three miles or so so far so it'll only be uh, six miles there and back but uh, of course uh, we'll need to sit down and all the benches are going to be wet through so unfortunately we'll have to see whether the uh, I think it's called the White Lion is open for business and then we can have a nice dry sit down and, uh, wet beer. and a wet beer. <laughs> right, just coming into the little village of Patterdale now, it's only a tiny place, a few houses and I think there was a shop but it looks like it's uh, gone and uh, we'll just see whether the pub is open. Right, well, uh, the white line wasn't open until later this afternoon, but uh, the Patterdale Hotel was, so... Cheers! Cheers! Uh, Jennings Cumberland, rather nice.
Just making our way back from uh, Patterdale now and uh, just following the same route so it's sort of uh, back along the uh, the river and then past uh, Brothers Water. Sun is just trying to burn its way through now but uh, there's wisps of uh, mist and cloud just down over the tops it's uh, still quite spectacular so I'll uh, show you a couple of views of that but uh, unless there's anything else spectacular we won't uh, show you the same thing again Table with a view. Cheers. Tyrrell IPA. Absolutely lovely. Very nice. Look at this review. <coughs> well, as you can see. Uh, overnight it's snowed up on the uh, higher peaks around us which is uh, very pretty to look at but I'm glad we're not up there today um, we're just getting ready to uh, clear out of Sykeside campsite now and make our way uh, across the Kirkstone Pass and down to um, Great Langdale for a few days so hopefully this weather's uh, temporary thing I think it's supposed to get a bit better tomorrow but uh, yeah we've had a bit of everything haven't we yeah. but it's been absolutely beautiful here if you're ever wanting somewhere in this area and it just up from Ullswater uh, highly recommend this campsite uh, as you'll have seen we got in the pub last night because it opened after uh, uh, a few, few days yeah. of uh, closed with a Covid outbreak and uh, that was uh, really nice dead friendly and uh, great beer and uh, the menu I don't know whether it was a standard menu but it's a fairly limited menu but really nice and real nice fresh veg and everything like that really lovely one too so um, yeah I'll show you a few scenes from uh, that I've just taken outside the van just so you can see without looking through the uh, the misty and rainy windows but um, that's us for Sykeside campsite See you at Great Langdale. again we've just arrived at uh, Great Langdale campsite had a quick bite to eat and we're just heading off for a, a little afternoon stroll along the uh, Langdale Valley campsite's lovely as I remembered it Marie's not seen it before it's nice isn't it and uh, yeah it's uh, just a gentle afternoon stroll we're on with the uh, snow last night it's turned quite cold I think it was about three and a half degrees this morning it's warmed up slightly but uh, still a real sort of nip in the air but, uh, a little bit of rain about but nothing too drastic so, uh, just head along here for a, a mile or so and just show Maria some of the sights to uh, the head of the valley now where Stake Pass goes up to the right 
but it's uh, so peaceful here. Don't think we'll walk much further though. Just go up. Uh, I think there's a a little waterfall with a pool here that we'll walk as far as. Uh, won't go up uh, the, the falls near the stake pass. Just uh, turn round and uh, get back and get a cup of coffee. I think. Right, that'll do for a little afternoon stroll up to the waterfalls. Hope you can hear us alright, it's gone a bit windy and the weather's starting to close in down over the tops behind us as well so we'll call it a day and head on back. Quite cold, very nice though isn't it? Afternoon stroll is complete and the snow is setting in so we're just heading off to the uh, old Dungeon Gill pub to uh, have a couple of beers and get something to eat. Oh, nearly back to the campsite now. Bitterly cold, but the uh, the light is just wonderful. Just uh, lighting up the clouds above the top of, uh, I suppose it's uh, Pike of Blisco and Crinkle Crags. Amazing. Well, uh, Maria's putting her boots on, just off for a walk. I'll just give you a quick look around uh, Great Langdale campsite. It is absolutely gorgeous here, fantastic setting. Uh, let's see what we've got. Just got a little reception and shop over here. This is looking behind our pitch up the campsite, you've got one toilet block over to the right there near reception and there's another one halfway up the site so uh, loads and loads of facilities. Uh, you've got hard standing pitches for camper vans and campers uh, and motorhomes up at the top end and uh, a couple of large tent fields a few uh, little lodges and another large tent field I think there might be a bit of a yeah there's a bit of a small play area there for kids but just look at the scenery around
third place. Right, so that's just about us done for our little uh, breakaway. Three days at Brothers Water at the uh, Sykeside campsite and three days or three nights here at um, Great Langdale in the National Trust campsite. It was absolutely brilliant. I'd highly recommend either of those uh, campsites if you're up this way. Absolutely fantastic. Um, Hard to choose between them for countryside. We've just had some great walks, haven't we? And uh, yeah, it's been wonderful. So um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this little kind of mashup of uh, a few of the sites from the uh, week away. And um, there'll obviously be some some of the longer walks will come out as separate videos. So uh, I hope you'll watch those also. So uh, thanks very much for watching this little one, and uh, I'll catch up with you very soon. Take care, see you now, bye.